Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good. As more and more restrictions are getting lifted and things are coming back to normal, more and more immigrants have started to come to Canada, whether it be new permanent residents or the international students. So in this video, we're going to talk about a very important aspect of settling in Canada, which is how to build your credit history from scratch. Now, let's say you're moving from India to Canada Unfortunately, your credit score won't get carried over and when you come to Canada, you have to start building your credit history right from scratch. As you might know, having a good credit score definitely helps you in getting a car loan or a home mortgage. But in a country like Canada, it is very important to have a good credit score because it is required if you want to get a rented apartment or a rented home. We will talk all about that and more importantly, some simple steps, few tips and tricks that will help you build your credit history right from scratch very quickly. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so let's start with a very basic question. What is a credit score? Maybe some people are totally unaware about it. So when we talk about Canada, your credit score would actually be a three digit number ranging from 300 until 850 and this number simply indicates your credit worthiness so if you have a high credit score it would simply mean that the lender could give you easy loans and maybe better interest rates as well and if you have a low credit score it would simply mean that lending you a loan would be much more riskier which means that either you might not get the loan or even if you get the loan, your interest rates would be much higher and you'll end up paying much more when you repay your loan. Now towards the start of the video, I told you about the importance of credit score while you're going for a rented apartment or a rented home. It is very important. Why is that so? When you apply for a rented place, then most of the times the homeowners or the property management companies would ask for your credit history. They simply want to understand that if they actually rent out their place to you, will you be able to pay the monthly installments on time or not? If you have a bad grade score, then sometimes they ask you for six months rent in advance, which means you have to pay $10,000, $12,000 in advance, which is obviously very difficult for a new immigrant if you pay that hefty amount in advance just for the rent. How will you take care of all the other things? So it is very important to build your credit score right from starting so of course there's a score range of what is considered as poor what is considered as good or excellent so if you have a score between 300 to 560 it is considered as poor you should at least have a score above 660 which is considered as good and if you have a better score even better than that even above 700 then it's even better you would certainly get easy loans and at low interest rates okay now when we know a lot about credit history and credit score let's talk about how to build this credit score from scratch so let's say you're a newcomer in canada the easiest way to get started with your credit history is getting a credit card and using it wisely Let's first talk about getting a credit card and then we'll talk about using it wisely. So first of all, there are two different types of credit cards. Number one, there is a secured credit card and number two, there's an unsecured credit card. What is an unsecured credit card? A simple credit card that a bank offers you. Let's say there's a credit limit of $5,000 uh, there. And uh, of course, you have uh, to use that uh, credit card for a certain period of time. Whatever your statement says, you pay that bill and slowly your credit score will start building. But as a newcomer, many times you would see that banks do not offer us an unsecured credit card. So you can get a secured credit card, which basically means that you would need to submit an upfront uh, amount for that credit card. Let's say you submit uh, $2,000 for that credit card so you would get a limit of 1500 or 2000 dollars now you can use that credit card if you fail to pay the bill of the credit card then the bank would deduct the money from the money that you deposited with them for the credit card so that is a very safe way uh, to go along for the banks with the newcomers so in that way you can start building your credit history after getting a secured credit card Okay, before we discuss about the other steps, the tips and the tricks, I want to quickly talk about how to check your credit score. 
Now there are many companies that offer these services and many times you would see that these services are chargeable. So you might need to pay $10, $20 or even more to get your credit report. Now here I want to recommend BorrowWell because they offer free credit monitoring services. They are a leading fintech organization recognized in Canada and globally as well and trusted by more than a million customers. If you sign up with them for free, then not only you'll get to know your credit score once, but regularly. You would get free weekly credit score and report monitoring service, bank level security, personalized financial product recommendations. And a great thing is that all those weekly reports won't hurt your credit score. So there's one thing to note here is that there's something known as a hard inquiry and something known as a soft inquiry. What's a hard inquiry? Basically, if you apply for a credit card or any loan, they would deep dive into your credit history and they'll check a lot many details and that would impact your credit score every time. So if you do that too much, that would impact your credit score negatively. So you have to avoid that. But when you actually uh, try to check your credit score through BorrowWell, it's a soft inquiry and that would not affect your credit score. So I'll provide a link in the description box below. You can click that link, sign up with them and monitor your credit score regularly. Okay, now let's talk about some of the tips of how to use your credit card wisely. There are very common mistakes that we generally do and that could impact your credit score negatively. You want your credit score to be increased in the positive direction and that too pretty quickly, right? So first of all, do not exhaust the limit of your credit card. Let's say your credit card limit is $2,000. Then do not exhaust your credit card limit, not even 50% of it. In fact, it is said that you should actually use 30% of your limit only. So if your credit card limit is 2000, then you should not spend anything more than $600 per month. Then the second tip is that you should use your credit card. Sometimes what happens is that we get a credit card and we think that our credit history is building while we are not even using it. You should use your credit card regularly instead of your debit card or cash. Once you pay through your credit card, then of course it is very important to pay the bills as well. So that's the third tip. Make sure you pay your bills on time and you do not skip any bill whatsoever. That will impact your credit history badly. At least you should make sure that you pay the minimum amount. Let's say any particular bad month, you don't have enough money with you. You make sure that you pay the minimum amount for it for sure. Now, of course, the downside of using a credit card is that the interest rates are very high. So if you are not able to pay the complete amount, then the remaining amount, they would charge a hefty interest rate that might be 15%, 20% or 25% depending from one card to the other. So please make sure that you pay the remaining amount in time, at least as early as possible before the next uh, cycle ends. You pay the amount as early as possible. Okay, now once you've started building your credit history, another tip is to get more credit cards, but not more than three or at max four credit cards. You can have more credit cards. Sometimes you would get some benefits of cashback. Sometimes you would get some uh, points, reward points. So all that is good, but, but the number of credit cards should not increase three or at max four. That also impacts your credit history negatively. Another tip, sometimes you might see that there are very good offers on particular credit cards and you might be intrigued to actually get that credit card but make a note of that that if you actually you know shuffle your credit cards too much you close one account and then open a new account then that would also impact your credit history. Your credit score might drop if you actually close your credit cards one or two might still be fine, but not more than that. Still, you should actually resist closing even one or two credit cards. Try not to close those credit card accounts. Try holding them for long. Okay, so those were some of the tips for the credit cards. But of course, apart from credit cards, there are other ways of uh, building the credit history or improving your credit score at the same time. 
So how should you do it? Maybe you can go for a car loan. So let's say you want to purchase a pre-owned car which costs you $10,000. Now you have $10,000 and you want to pay all of that at one go but don't do that if you want to build your credit history. Maybe pay $8,000 and take an auto loan of $2,000. So when you pay that regularly, let's say for two years or one year, whatever, that will help you build up your credit history and improve your credit score even if you have a good credit history. Now let's say you have been in Canada for a few months, um, you don't want to get a car and getting a home is out of your thoughts right now. So maybe you can actually get a personal loan which is actually called a line of credit here in Canada. So you can go for, to a bank and ask for offers for some line of credits. Sometimes bank have great offers for line of credits as well. Just like I have a personalized offer of 1.99% per annum up to $10,000 if I want to take a line of credit. So you can get such good offers and obviously, you know, 2%, less than 2% is very good, very good. You cannot expect a better rate than that. And when you have a line of credit, it simply means that you pay your bills on time for that line of credit as well. And of course, your credit history will start building. And even if you have a good score, it would improve to very good or even excellent. So taking all of those points in your mind, and signing up with Borrowell, I really hope that you would build up your credit history. And if you have a credit history already, you would be able to improve it. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section below. And yes, if you find it really useful, do not forget to share it with your friends as well. Thanks again for watching this video.